Okay, write each polynomial in standard form. So standard form means write it from highest to lowest degree and then combine like terms. So like terms have the same variables and the same exponents. So this first one, you have p cubes, that's the highest degree, so we have 1p cubed and 2p cubed, so it's 3p cubed, and then minus 2p. So this is a third degree, so when it's a third degree, it's called a cubic, and there's two terms, so that's called a cubic binomial. And then the second one, there's no other x to the ninth power, so it's negative 5x to the ninth plus 3. We don't have a name for 9 degree, or not that I know, 9th degree. So I'm just call it a ninth degree binomial. And then number 8, I'm going to write it in order. So it's negative x to the fifth, negative x cubed, and then this is a positive x. It's fifth degree, so we call it a quintic. It has three terms, so it's a trinomial. And then down here, long division. So what you want to do is put x plus 5, because that's what you're dividing by, on the outside, and rewrite x squared minus 3x minus 40 on the inside. So we're going down. There's not you're not skipping a term. So I'm just going to write it how it is. x squared minus 3x minus 40. Then your next step is if you take x, how many what do you need to multiply x by to get x squared? You would write that right here. So something times x is x squared. So that is an x. Now you take this x and you multiply it by both terms and write it right here. So this is x squared plus 5x. At this point you subtract these two. So x squared minus x squared cancels out. Negative 3x minus 5x is negative 8x's. Then you bring down the negative 40. So then, next, you would do x, or x times what is negative x? What could I write right here to multiply by x to get negative 8x? So it's negative 8. Now you multiply negative 8 times x is negative 8x. So I'm going to write right here. Then don't forget to do the second term. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. These, this is 0, so there's no remainder. So to check my answers, I'm going to use FOIL. I'm going to multiply this times this and see if it's equal to this. So I do x plus 5 times x minus 8. You're going to get x squared minus 8x plus 5x minus 40. That's equal to negative 3x, so it works. Okay, next one. I write x plus 4 on the outside. Oops, I'm going to leave more room. Start lower. So I write x plus 4. And then I write 3x squared plus 7x minus 20. So x times something is 3x squared. That's a 3x. So now I multiply this 3x through. So it's going to be 3x squared and then plus 12x. And I subtract. 7x minus 12x is negative 5x, and then you bring down the negative 20. 
now you do what times x is negative 5x? That's negative 5, so then you still multiply again. So this is going to be negative 5x minus 20. This cancels out. So there's no remainder. So this is our answer. So now you're gonna now you can check it, check your answers with FOIL. So 3x minus 5 times x plus 4 is 3x squared plus 12x minus 5x minus 20. So 3x squared plus 7x minus 20 is your answer. And then the last part, solve these cubics. These are cubic, cubic equations. So just like a square root, you want to get the cube root by itself, or the x cubed term by itself. So you're going to subtract 8 from each side. Then, to get rid of the cube, you need to take the cube root of negative 8. So you're going to get x equals negative 2. And then the next part, add 1, add 1, 27x cubed equals 1, divide by 27, so x cubed equals 1 over 27. Then you take the cube root. So x equals the cube root of 127, but we can actually break that down. So I'm going to separate it, the cube root of 1 over the cube root of 27. Because both of those you can take the cube root of and get a whole number. The cube root of 1 is 1. The cube root of 27 is 3. So the best answer is 1 third. So if you can break this down, go ahead and do it.